What is going on guys? Welcome to the 23rd installment of the Nerd Purier podcast. I am so sorry that this podcast is so late. I did not mean for this podcast to take three weeks to do. I was supposed to do this podcast two weeks ago, I think. And you know, just like always, I got my ideas down for this podcast. There, there's a lot to talk about. There's a lot on my mind. There's been a lot going on lately. I've been doing 14 days of Nerd Purier, and also if you you don't notice I changed the background for the podcast but yeah there's a lot of topics to talk about day first of all 14 days in nerd period I don't know if you guys know but for the last six days so far I've been posting on my YouTube channel every single day and I'm starting to have a mental breakdown like last time. So, okay, the reason why I'm starting to have a mental breakdown. Okay, so the first six days has been completely so easy. Like compared to last time, it's been super easy to do these last six days of videos. The thing is, I'm thinking about, holy shit, I do not have videos for the next, for the next seven days. Like I have three videos for the next seven days, but they aren't until two days after the seven day mark right? And so I'm like, even though I'm not up to that day yet, like I have videos up until the eighth day, right? And I'm like, holy shit, bro. I have no more ideas. Even though I'm not at that point yet, I'm having massive anxiety about it because it is indeed very scary. Um, when we get another guest on the podcast, here's what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to have my name under my box and then the name of the guy in that box. And yeah, I, I worked hard on these because the podcast is is kind of like a side passion, you know? I do, I kind of do the podcast whenever I want. And if I miss a podcast, like I say, I'm going to do a podcast this week, but like something gets in the way. I'm never upset about it. If it was like that with my main channel where I didn't get to post a video when I was supposed to, I'd be kind of upset. But as of late, besides on 14 days of nerd period, I cannot be late on posting a video. As of late, it's been like, you know, I just do the podcast whenever I feel like, like there's a time where I didn't do the podcast for two months because I didn't have any content. And then I came back strong for two months of doing it almost every single week. So yeah, I love the podcast, a great side passion, and I get to interact with you guys along with the new Twitch streams, which by the way, guys, so recently the Twitch stream guys are so fun. Like I'm having the like most incredible time on the Twitch streams, right? They are so fun. We're not going to be doing straight zombies all the time. I'm going to talk to Kamal about it and maybe we can like work in four weeks out of the month. Maybe one of the streams we do a different game, which will like really increase the amount of like watchability. When we do those streams, that's like really the only time I play video games. So all week, I'm kind of looking forward to that stream, not only to like interact with you guys, but actually have fun playing a video game. And the challenges we've been doing have been so fun. Now, I know week one wasn't too great because that challenge we made wasn't actually too hard and we failed it because accidentally killing the marg was but yeah the streams on twitch have been so fun um if you guys are watching right now definitely go follow the twitch channel where we stream once a week every sunday at 9 30 p.m est but the next topic i want to talk about is do i think tifu is on drugs okay now let me let me preface this with this is a topic that's been going on a lot that a lot of fitness youtubers are talking about is tifu on drugs uh greg Doucette was talking about it Fillion was talking about it and both of them i highly disagree with their opinions now i i'm not gonna lie i didn't watch greg Doucette's video so i can't really talk about whether what i think about his video or not but i can talk about Fillion's because i watched both of his so let's look at this picture of tifu real quick all right look at these two photos okay first of all all right let me let me tell you this this is hella good lighting. This is hella good lighting. And not only that, he, it definitely looks like he gained a few pounds. But the thing is, Tifu is claiming that he gained 30 pounds within a six month period. First of all, everybody's saying that this looks very unnatural. I guess in a six month period, I guess you could say that, but I really do think it's just really good lighting. And like he has a pump. 
okay and there's other stuff you can get an even more crazy pump take garlic and honey there's so many ways you can get an insane pump and take a picture like that i'm not a hater or anything right he he looks decent okay he, but he's still super small uh how how tall is tifu he's six one he's one inch taller than me guys and he looks like that i'm 187 pound beefcake all right i'm just saying he has to be lying about his numbers because this photo from this photo it honestly just looks like he has an insane pump and apparently this is six months before so it honestly looks in this photo he just has an insane pump he has great lighting because if you have top down lighting from the ceiling naturally what it's gonna do is it's gonna have shadows now i wish i could show you guys an example of this but right now i'm gonna stand up and i look terrible with spot on lighting not a uh, top down lighting so i don't look jacked at all because the lighting is going straight on me, right? But if I had lighting coming down from the ceiling, what it does is my chest pops out so much that it would create shadows. And then your abs would have shadows too. And then you would look way more defined, right? See how he has visible abs, but this is more spot on lighting in the first picture. And then the, the second picture is top down lighting. He says he learned, uh, gained 30 pounds within six months. It honestly looks like he may have only gain 10 to 15 pounds and not all of that is lean muscle mass you're not, there's no way possible you can gain 10 to 15 pounds of muscle mass in that month so he definitely put on a little body fat has great lighting in this picture and yeah i really don't think um i don't think he took steroids i just think he's i think he's a liar that that's the thing but anyways guys i am gonna end the podcast here i should get started on tomorrow's video so i don't kill myself tomorrow but yeah anyways shout out to Caleb XL, uh, John Gold, and Charnel for coming out to the stream. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for coming out. I love you all. And yeah, I'll see you in tomorrow's tomorrow's video. If you haven't, make sure to follow my Twitch channel and uh, turn on notifications for my main channel. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in to the 23rd installment of the Nerd Period Podcast. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.